Welcome in. Um, today I'm going to do just a couple of um, dumbbell exercises that are from the strength training circuit that I do in class with the ladies. Uh, we do sort of seven or eight different dumbbell moves, so I'm not claiming this is a full body workout, but these are probably a couple of the more crucial ones. Um, so I'm going to start with a squat to overhead. Now your squat position will be a little bit different for everybody. I use a straight toe um, shoulder width. Uh, you may be slightly toed out. Um, have a little couple of goes without any weight and, and see what feels comfortable. You should be able to get a little bit lower range without any issues in your knees um, with your most ideal position. So like I say, feel free to go a little bit toe out, a little bit wider if you need to, it's up to you. Um, now, make sure that you're warm because we are losing, using some load. If you don't have dumbbells at home, you can use some tin goods, uh, which isn't a lot of load, but you could use a couple of bottles of wine or if you've got dumbbells, then that's great. Now, uh, make sure that you're warm. I'm already warmed up. So uh, if you're not warmed up, press pause now and warm yourself up first, three to five minutes, and get moving nice and quick without load and then come back to this. All right, so assuming that you're warm, we're gonna start with the squat to overhead. So what we're gonna do is come down into a squat, keeping those knees um, nice and parallel. So not letting them cave in or cave out nice and straight in the back and core engaged. As we come up, we're gonna come up with our arms. And as we come down, we're gonna come down with our arms so that it's nice and fluid all together and it's not segmented into two different moves. Okay, so up and down at the same time we're squatting down, up at the same time we're coming up. Okay, nice and straight back, core engaged. A few more. I'm not going to be doing too many reps because this is the end of my workout, so I'm almost done. Okay, nice and fluid. Okay, coming back down. So that's a great one. Um, it's a hybrid move because there's two moves in one, one, but like I say, we want to keep it fluid and together. So we're not doing a squat, standing up, then overhead, then squat. We're doing it in a fluid motion all together. Okay, next one we're going to do is a more of a lateral move, but it has a bicep curl in it as well. So this one, you'll probably want your toes out a little bit. Um, some people will side lunge with the front toe, but you need to know that you can keep your knee over your toe. So whatever toe angle works for you, have a little play with that weight first. The most important thing is we don't want our knee caving in as we lunge or caving out as we lunge. We want to watch that angle is tracking over the toe at the same angle that the toe is on, okay? If you're having any knee pain, um, <coughs> try without weight, tweak your, excess, tweak your technique until you can get it without any pain. Stay nice and high or simply don't do it. Um, if you're getting a lot of joint pain with things, then you're probably best to have at least one, if not a few sessions one-on-one -on -one with a personal trainer. See if you can really work out what's happening in your technique and why you're getting that pain. Um, or, or see a doctor, <laughs> because you know, you may actually have an issue going on. Okay, so if you get joint pain, don't do it. All right, so we're going to come over. We're going to lunge to this side, watching our knees tracking over our toe on the same angle. And we're going to bicep curl at the same time, keeping our elbow at the side of the body and keeping our chest open as we do it. So keep that chest open. Good. And again, we're keeping it fluid. So we're not doing a lunge, then a bicep curl. We're doing a lunge and bicep curl at the same time. Chest is staying open, back is straight, core is engaged. The other thing we don't want to do is lean over as we bicep curl. So if you find you're doing that, your legs are probably not carrying your weight well enough. So bring your height up a little bit, bring yourself in and keep it higher. Okay, until your legs have the strength to carry your weight. Chest open. Fluid, two moves at the same time, not one and then the other. Okay, good. Now I might just add one more move. I know I said a couple, but you know, it's hard to do. 
sorry, I'm buggered because I just finished my workout. Now, the um, the other move we're going to do is one I haven't actually got in the circuit at the moment, but look, it's a good combination to do the chest and the back of the shoulders, so we're up the back. So what we want to do is bring our hands up just under our chest at about our rib height at the side of the body, and we're just going to uppercut to about head height, and then we're going to come all the way back so that those elbows are coming back, and now these dumbbells are back at my side. Now, as we do that, we want the shoulder blades to come together. So as we come forward, they're going to come apart. As we come back, shoulder blades together. Just to head height. Now we're not bicep curling in that. We're going to keep the angle on the arm there nice and the same. Okay? All right. Forward, head height. Shoulder blades together. Head height. Shoulder blades coming together. Head height. Shoulder blades coming together. One more. Oh, and I'm just about done. <laughs> so, I promise I did a workout before. It's not that easy for me to be done. All right. Now, uh, they're just three moves. Watch the video a few times. Pause it when you're in between doing the move so that you've got time to get a full set in, do a couple of sets if you can, uh, give yourself a good rest in between, at least 30 seconds, and start with a lighter weight, build up as you go, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. See you later. Oh, like, share, and subscribe.